Tenerife, Los Cristianos is where we are. Uh, up 50 metres or so is a roundabout, other side of the roundabout. Up on the left hand side you've got the Coral Los Alios Hotel, where we've stayed before. Um, there's a few shops here, you've got an exchange place, you've got pizza here, you've got a little uh, tapas place here, Los Cosos, which we've been there before. Uh, we've got a video there showing the menu, what they do. Uh, we're going to do a bit of a, a bit of a circular kind of general wander around this area, this whole area, to show you what's here. There's the, um, I'll just quickly scan this menu for you. Sorry? We've had pizza, haven't we? We've had a kebab. So you've got apartments on the left, which is called Summerland, and this on the right hand side is the Agoma Hotel. Like I see it, our videos, uh, this kind of video we do, it's a street walk video showing you what's around. If you know the area, and you're very familiar with it, then that's great. But for those that are maybe not familiar, not been here before, or you've not been here for quite a number of years, and you're curious to know what it looks like up to date, that's what our videos are for. To provide you with information and familiarisation. There you go, the Agumar. All right. 8am Got a bit of noise going on over the road, somebody with some kind of circular saw or something So apologies for the noise, it is a little bit breezy today as well There's the Agoma And Cross over the road, I'll show you what's here so we've got Tides, or Tides Fish and Chip Shop there, that's apparently uh, quite good. Sports bars, various different sports bars down here. you got uh, Funk, what's that, Funk Rooney's Smiley's Bar. So you've got Draft Guinness served here at Funk Rooney's Bar. You've got YOLO Bar, Buccaneer. Bar Island, what's all on over there? Sandy's Bar. Spin round. Got HG Tenerife Sir. Which looks quite nice. We've actually quite uh, fancy staying there one time. Christian Sir is over the road, that's the sister hotel. Got a mini market on the corner. Harriet's is along that way, well, just follow the pathway down, I don't know, maybe 100, 150 metres, and it's on the right hand side on the corner. Um, Chinese restaurant, we've got various little small shops over the road, supermarkets and whatever else is there. There's Chinese there. Today is weather, in case I haven't mentioned the weather, it's warm. It's a little bit cloudy but not too bad. Today's temperature is currently 25 degrees. At uh, time is at 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock in the afternoon. You've got a Italian over there. There's the fox. Let's have a look at the menu. I'll 
to scan over the menu just so you know what they do and how much it costs it is yeah there's some pictures there for you I mean prices are quite reasonable over here one of my favorites one of my favorite meat dishes of all time lamb chops that's coming in at 18 euro 95 whatever you whatever you fancy there's a few prices on there cocktails If you're familiar with um, the Knight Strider, that's his new bar that he's recently acquired, which is currently closed. I think it only opens on the night time, doesn't it? Not at all, yeah. Fortal One, choose to close Fortal One, Saturday 1 to 1, Sunday 12 to 1, football shown. Yeah, we've not been in this bar yet. The next sort of that you've got the Swan, which is currently closed. Neighbours. <laughs> Breakfast. Hey. Okay. Over the road from, like I say, where you've got Buddy's Bar, Neighbours, there's a little alleyway down here, walkway down here, which we'll show you. It's one of those areas where, if you don't know it's there, you can quite easily walk past it. Like I say, follow that path up there to the junction on the left hand side is the Christian Sir Hotel Scotch Mist so You've got these little places hidden away Let's see if you don't know they're there Little shop Bull and Moon, that's what it's called isn't it? I like it in there. That's quite a nice little bar there, the Bull and Moon. Been in there before. It's quite cheap from what I remember. Anyway, you can continue down there to different areas, but we're going to mainly concentrate, we're going to backtrack along here and mainly concentrate on this area up here. And right, so we've crossed back over the road, Bull and Moon pub down there. A bit up there towards the fox where I've just been. So we'll take you further down here and show you a bit more. You can see if you know the area that's great but if you don't or you've not been for quite a number of years because things can change in a short space of time. So on the corner here we have got 
Mongolia restaurant. Mongolia restaurant. This one was on our list to try, but we still haven't tried it. That's what they do, a little bit of short coat one. I've heard that's quite good. Well, there's the prices for you. So this is the menu for the vault bar. Avant-garde restaurant bar over there. This one is currently closed completely. It's the vault bar there. It's quite nice in there. We've been there and had drinks in there. Um, we haven't been in there on this visit, but we, we have been in before. So vault bar up there. There's not really much more to show you up that end. Um, it's mainly residential. So we're going past Mongolia. We're going to head up this direction. Here TM. We've got Delhi Delights. I'm not going to show you the menu. The menus are pretty much uh, all the same sort of prices. It's not really that much difference to be honest. Italian. Quite nice. No, ma bene, magari certo, però quello quello che mi ha detto. the name of the restaurant there. We had the pizza from there the other night. This is quite nice. I'll just uh, there's the pizza menu there, there's the prices. Quite delicious. There's a picture of a pizza. Taylor's Lounge. A little shop there. That's this one here, Dylan's. This is where we uh, saw Rick and Shelley. Rick's quite a good entertainer as well. Quite, isn't he? He's comedy, isn't he? Yeah. Really good. This is quite funny. Here you've got the steakhouse, Victoria. Down there. Yep. GG's. Which has various different entertainment on. With the Chinese. Happy days. Closed for holiday open the 14th of December. Four jungles. Which we've been in before. And all of this here is the Passarella Centre, which is a complex of shops and uh, places to eat and drink. So you got the Highland Paddy Irish bar up there, which has a really expensive beer. You got Chicago's, Rotana, Shisha Bar. Indian restaurant. Yeah, second indoor shopping centre with all sorts of different things in there. I love garden. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Quite nice in there, isn't it? 
to quite a few people's recommended trying it. The Dyla Pre supermarket. Another cash machine. The ATM. There's Casey's. Which we've been into, I think we went in there the first time we came in. From what I can remember. So, 100 metres or so left hand side, Casey's. Harris Park. Harris Park Hotel. Which is four star rating. Over the road you've got a 24 hour supermarket. That's Paradise Park there. Straight along that way to the roundabout. Turn right up the bank you've got the Coral Los Alios Hotel. Roundabout turn left and you've got the Bar Los Cosos where we started the, uh, the, started the menu, started the vlog from. Uh, we went down, down the bank towards Christian Sir Tenery Sir. Just give you an idea of the layout. Paradise Park is there. Quite a steep incline. And again, you've got more sort of shops and bars, restaurants. Up in this top corner, restaurant Koi is there. Hello. So, this is all to you, supermarket, Shakespeare's, and there's the uh, restaurant Koi. So we'll just have a little wonder. Quick look up here, just to show you. I can't remember exactly what's here, but I'll have a look. So you've got restaurant Don Quixote, which is Pizzeria Steakhouse, and then opposite it is El Paso, which is Mexican restaurant and bar. So we'll head back down this way. Right, so we're doubling back on ourselves. We make our way back down, see what else we can show you. Our ice park on our left. So we're just heading back, back down on ourselves the way we've come down towards the passerella. the centre, like this back, the back end of it if you like, and you've got the attic bar just there, Chef Samuel Hids, Hids, <laughs> Zoko, reference point, there's the Highland Paddy, Hoops Bar, and what's that, Indian restaurant, Balti, Balti Balti, And then Overseas, which is another restaurant that was on our list to try. We still haven't tried that either. There's Overseas there. Asian Bistro. Established 1992. And then you've got the Chicago's on the corner, which we seen earlier. There you go, that bit there, Passerella Centre. I'm showing you what it looks like, what's here. Hope it helps. 
like I say, if you know the area, that's great. But for those who don't, or you haven't been for a while, familiarisation. Did you enjoy it? Hope you did. If you did, thumbs up. It's all free support for us. It's free to you. And uh, questions, type them in the comment section. And if you're not already a subscriber, it's totally free. It's it, it's your choice, but it, it doesn't cost anything. And hit the bell for the notifications. And uh, share the videos as well, that would be wonderful. Just helps to push our channel forward. So from a beautiful sunny Los Cristianos in Tenerife, I'm going to say thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Take care of yourselves, bye for now.